Hey guys, it's Alexei here from Ace5 Studios and today we've got another MoGraph tutorial for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking about what the modify clone parameter does, which is here, this slider here, which I didn't know what it did for quite a long time. So let's get into it. For this we'll need a MoGraph cloner and we're going to need a sphere inside it and delete this one and let's move these out a bit make a couple more and let's see what happens um, let's make it editable and let's make a clone of it inside and in this field let's go to point mode and then you get our brush mo brush thing and let's just pull some of these spheres out now as you see right now we're in iterate mode here this is clones iterate so we have two clones in here you can see we have one sphere and another sphere and it just goes one sphere, other sphere, one object, other object. Well, no, it's pretty simple stuff. Now, if we switch to random, obviously it'll just randomly arrange them. But what we're doing is we're going to blend mode. As you can see now, it blends from one to the other. And it can blend anything. Um, it can blend, you know, as long as both these objects are identical, it, if it has parameters in it or something, it can blend between them. So you can put deformers in there, whatever you want. Like let's, for example, let's get this guy. Let's get a twist deformer under him. And then let's copy this guy into here as well and zero it out so they're both zeroed. And now let's get this twist deformer and let's give it. And you can see that the ones at the end are more twisty than the other than the ones that are not. So it blends with these parameters. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this cloner and we're gonna make the count one. When we have add a plane effector to it, turn off the position. We can now modify, that's what the modify clone does. It blends from one to the other. And also you can have like, you know, as many of them as you want. You got like seven variations and it'll blend percentage wise from one to the next. You might think, well, that's not particularly useful by itself. I could just animate the twist. Ah, but what you can do with this is now you can put this cloner into another cloner. Oops, holding the Alt key, click on a cloner and switch it to grid and make this one and let's drag it out here and let's give them a bunch more of these and now this plane effector still affects all of them let's switch this fall off to sphere let's scale it up give it the modify clone variation 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 and now check it out now you can actually go through and affect them very cool, right? And this is like super handy for all kinds of because you can put you can put like entire characters in there and blend between one position to another. So this is in short what it does. Um, what it doesn't do, however, is it doesn't really blend between materials. So if you make two materials, and we make this one a blue and this one a red, and then we apply them to the two clones. And then we get our plane effect to move through. They just kind of pop into place, which isn't blending. So for this, what we actually need is we will need a, a color shader. So we only need one material on both of them. And then all we need to do here is in color, we're going to plug in MoGraph. In color, here, color, we're going to plug in MoGraph color shader. And this way, we can have the cloner here. We can have its attributes, where's the ah, cloner, attributes, and transform. Otherwise, transform, let's make it green. Okay, let's make <laughs> this cloner green. There we go. And then for the plane effector, let's turn on the color here on. And nope, user defined. And let's make it yellow. And there you go, now you can see the blending happening. See, now it slowly goes from yellow to green. Very convenient. And really that's pretty much all the modify clone parameter does. That's like, this is the main story of it. Look, it's a quick tip, it's only five minutes. In the next part, I'll show you how to do something slightly more complex with both the color shader and an actual character. Uh, we'll see what we can do with like a Mexican wave type animation. But there is, I hope this was helpful to you. It's a very 
nifty feature. And yeah, message me in the comments if you have any questions. Once again, it's Alexei from ace5studios.com. Go to my website for more tutorials.